All right. Uh, so for season five, we're going to be covering it through the end game portion, uh, just because our dashboard has already updated for season six. So yeah. it happens. It is what it is. So yeah. let's just hop into this. Blame check out move. the top twenty five guilds and where they ended up for the season. Obviously, let's factory reset has one. Uh, shocker, I guess. <laughs> um, <laughs> So yeah, first place factory reset for with 171 uh, guild EXP total, which is impressive. Number two is TSL, the Scarlet Legion, with 153 mil guild EXP. And now, what I thought was really cool, and what they they let us know was that TSL has now beat the PVP highest PVP seasonal uh, guild uh, like guild EXP earned. So they did that last time when they were PVP. This time mm -hmm. they beat the record for the highest PVE guild EXP for a season, uh, yeah. and so they they've done both records, which begs the question: What's next? Um, so I also, don't know. Also, Babel used to call them a joke. Yeah, in that, and, and they beat know, Babel's you know, records. So and they beat Babel's records, and they do have some of Babel's like, um, like ex leadership in their guild, but yeah. they joined late. Like they had no impact whatsoever. So. Uh, good to see TSL, you know, putting their money where their mouth is. Yeah. Right. Battle doesn't exist, though. Like, you can't even, like, hey, guys, log back in so we can say, screw ya. You can't do that because they're banned or in the corners renaming them. So yeah. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Unfortunately, TSL just wasn't good enough to beat Factory Reset. So, you know, uh, yeah. second oh, place, dude, first place is, loser. <laughs> dude, Factory Reset is, like, leagues ahead of TSL. Like, you, you go, you walk into Less the Less than 20 hall, mil. You, you you walk into the guild hall and uh scarlet legion is like the nerds over there and, and in fact already said they're like they're doing kagers <laughs> they're wearing college sweaters from animal house like they're just they're partying man they, they know what they're doing okay all righty then uh <laughs> third place is still friendly too which is great to see uh with 118 mil whatever Fours. friendly this is oh my god yeah who leads this guild <laughs> pison who leads this guild is it's it on <laughs> Oh Jesus Christ! Is All right. Sideways? Oh my God! All right. Yeah. It's it's Tansy. Who who else? Who oh else my could it God! Be? Is a Sunny Bunny? It's one of them. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The Forest <laughs> in fourth place with 102 mil, uh, Guild XP. Fifth place is DPS. Uh, who some argue is the true PVE uh guild. I know yep. Pison does with 96 mil, which is impressive for uh mm -hmm. another PVE guild here um sixth place is friendly they could never come back into celestial once they got knocked out um mm -hmm. because dps is just better than them yeah friendly just crying in the corner or something i don't know they're hugging each other going like oh let's be friends i don't know yeah it's not it's not an effective strategy <laughs> seventh place with a, a a big drop in exp with 66 mil is prostor i uh, did really oh, yeah seventh place excuse me uh they did really great here uh, Wolf mm. Blood in eighth place, being sandbagged by Pison with 64. If they only Pison had actually <laughs> s stepped up, and they could have maybe beaten Prostor, uh, but instead he took a, a spot within Wolf Blood and uh, sandbagged them. Um, <laughs> an another big drop in Guilty XP here is uh, from eighth to ninth place. Asgard coming in ninth place, beating out Murders of the Universe uh, with 45 mil EXP. Then we have 10th place is Murders of the Universe with 45, uh, just three, a little under 300, or a little over 300 um, guild XP away from taking that 9th place position. What are your thoughts on the 6th the to the 10th place positions? Yeah, um, one, I am deeply, I'm just like, I'm truly surprised at how Prostor gained their strength through the season. Like, they came back, and they weren't just like hanging out, you know, from like... 20 to 15 they they actually were a challenge to the legendary tier and they all look how close they got to uh number six yeah right yeah so i'm just impressed with prostor they 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 really i mean when they first came onto the scene they were a guild to be like you know you could take their word on they want to be here and win but this this season is their season uh so hopefully they see that and they continue to you know to fight if they don't, they should be proud of themselves of what they've done. Uh, of course, Wolf Blood being a member there, just what they've achieved with—it's almost like just 
limitations or just like the the obstacles that have kind of like fallen into place i mean this was the season that um you know the og leader disappeared dazed like you know step back this was the season where dagon and zildan had to put out fires this was the season that silver came back and then made you know bloodlust instead of wolf blood or joined back with wolf blood so there's a lot of things wolf blood was going through uh and then Deren came back and um yeah it was just good times for them so and then my last kind of like oh you know uh comment here is asgard uh jason you know asgard a tier two guild um arguably the strongest tier two guild um uh, here yeah in in the sgl now so congrats to jason and his crew um and yeah i mean this was a great tier to be in i think usually it's kind of like you know the the dregs from celestial but i think everyone was pretty much fought to be here i mean even murder the universe you know taking out shadow uh shadow garden which mm -hmm. shadow garden was top 10 for the longest time until more exams happened but what can you do yeah yeah let's all remember wolf blood used to be a top five guild until pison joined all okay, right let's that's fault that's fake news everyone that's <laughs> Uh, it's real news now. Shadow Garden came in 11th place with 41 mil. They're very close to getting into that top 10, uh, even with all their exams. Uh, and, and Shadow left a really good uh, comment to his guild. I look forward to seeing them next oh, yeah. season. Um, Check it out. Place. It's on the, community, on the community tab of our uh, yeah. YouTube channel. Yeah, it was a really good um, uh, comment that he laid out to his guild. Uh, Heaven and Hell came in the 12th place position there. Um, with no chance of getting to 11th resolve and 13th, uh, with 31, uh, mil EXP nights. You say ye found themselves in 14th place position with 29 mil, uh, guild EXP. And then Decay. Italia came in 15th with 28 mil. So they're a little, they had had a little over one mil guild EXP. They may have beat the nights you say ye. That was another close mm -hmm. one there. Um, what are your thoughts? 11 through 15. Yeah, Shadow Garden obviously still a strong guild. They just got bumped by a stronger guild. MOU does that. They're yeah. a sleeper. Like they literally they're the salty dog of yeah. the SGL. Uh Heaven and Hell was very new to this season. Uh they banded together on a whim. Uh Dark and and you know, all the OGs. Essentially almost all the OGs besides like Cutie and, and uh Nowry. But like yeah, Heaven and Hell did really well for the time they've spent in this season. Yeah. But I agree with you, Crazy Fire. I don't think they're going to have to like, f f like commit more to be a top ten guild. Uh, resolve another like one of the newest guilds to this season. Yep. They literally just held their position, and I think if you're a new guild and you're this far up on the SGL, stability is key. So whatever they're doing, keep doing it. Ye sandbag. They're just <laughs> rest in peace, Joxe, uh, and Wobbly Cat for sure. And Italia, not really Italian. But they're still strong. They're a newer, stronger guild, so good for them. I mean, they made the top 15. Yeah, yeah. A lot of newer names coming up in, in the SGL. And I hope they continue yeah. in the next one. All right. Let's move on 16 through 20 then. Wolf came in 16th place with 25 um, mil EXP. Golden Arrows in 17th place with 22 mil EXP. Zelf Zenith Kitties uh, in 18th place position. <laughs> With 21, um, uh, excuse me, mil, mil uh, EXP, uh, a little under one mil guild EXP would have allowed them to beat Golden Arrows there. Another close one, and then same with Sorrow Keep at 19th place position with 20 mil uh, EXP, and so yeah, again, one mil EXP is a difference there for that position. Um, and then finally, you have TPC at 16 mil, nowhere near 19th place. Uh, but holding on to 20th place position, which is great to see. They're one of the, you know, the older guilds that are still stick around and continue to be in the top 25 guilds. What are your thoughts? <laughs> TPC getting shit on, dude. <laughs> um, Sorry. yeah, I think Wolf is, Wolf is probably the strongest guild in this tier. Um, and Golden Arrows, like, I don't know what, I don't really know what they're doing this whole season. I have no idea what they were doing. I honestly thought Golden Arrows was going to end up like um, uh, Gorilla Wizards and just kind of like dipping, you know, to the yeah. tier two scene, but they haven't. So there's that. ZZK, not much of an opinion here, but Sorrow Keep is the newest guild, I think, next to Bloodless, like in terms of who was joined, who joined the latest. Okay. Right? 
Um, but Sarki is severely new, and they just shot up into the SGL. So to to launch like a nuke and get you know number nineteen, almost yeah. eighteen. Congrats to you, so keep. Uh, hopefully, you still continue on, and we see you in season six, and then TBC. I don't. I. I have a bunch of friends in TBC. Uh, I just don't know if there's anything more for TBC at this point. Like, if you can hold this, you're still a top twenty guild. Good for you. But I don't know if, T if we'll see TBC. You know push forward with like a a goal in mind to take a secure like secure a different tier or something like that yeah 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 cool and the last tier here we have the trash tier uh 21 through 25 it's helheim with 15 mil so they're very close to breaking in the top 20 mm -hmm. uh and in fact they started the season late this is an old school guild that came back from the dead and um late into the season and they were able to get the 21st place position then you have Black Dragon, 13 mil, uh, EXP in 22nd. Alpha and Omega holding on to 23 with at 12 mil. Uh, Afterglow holding on to 24 uh, with 11 mil. And then finally, Cult of Eternal Ice holding that last place in the top 25 uh, with that, another 11 mil. Really close between 24th and 25th place positions there. Um, honestly, I like this last tier because it's a lot of mm -hmm. newer names tier two guilds yeah they are climbing their way up and and becoming stronger and stronger and it's a very close race between all of them so i really appreciate that thoughts yeah yeah this tier is really like peer to peer like they're peer to peer to each other there's yeah. no like mega guild that maybe isn't earning as much this week and so guilds are catching you know like these guilds can actually compete with each other hell high like you said just came in hot they were friends with Black Dragon. Pretty much there's drama down here uh, and that alliance ended and now they're just like spurred on the last couple of weeks of season five, Summer SGL uh, against each other. So there's a, there's a rivalry down here. That's great to see. Alpha and Omega, another tier two guild holding on. Afterglow dipped out of the SGL. They dipped out of the top 25, I think right. multiple times. Yep. And now here they are at number 24, securing the bag at the very end. Uh, so good for Afterglow. And then Cult of Eternal Ice, don't really know much about this guild, but they've, once they left tier two, I mean, they're on the border now, right? But they right. did not go back into it. So, you know, it's a good showing for the guilds that are normally outside of the top 25. Yeah, um, for sure. But yeah, sick. And then you have like Demolition's Kingdom like right below that. Yeah, <laughs> dude, that was a close one. They are so close oh, to geez. getting 25. Yeah, uh, and if, for those of you who don't know, it's like demo and lucas from uh newbies and a bunch of other core members yeah coming together under dgk and they're pretty much like they're they're set to be on the sgl yeah yeah and season six is their season yeah this is season five was great yeah summer SGL. maybe we should just stick with numbers for consistency i think that would be on. the best idea yeah uh but this was a great season a bunch of new guilds factory reset aka ring factory even after their weird deletion like yeah. the bming they got from sarah like their rebrand they, yeah they took advantage of tsl going pve and they were number one for the first time like yeah straight up yeah straight up earned it was awesome to see uh and then like guilds like dps you know mm -hmm. like showing up for pve tsl mm -hmm. uh just breaking records on the pvp and pve like you mentioned yeah pointed out uh but yeah we just have a ton of great guilds this season Absolutely. and it wasn't like the boring same old same old right so, yeah yeah 